Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Glad to have you with us for another reaction video from Bars and Barbells, your favorite reaction channel. And we've got Carrie Underwood today. The first time Carrie Underwood is going to be on the channel. We also have our cat here, if you can see her. <laughs> she may, may, may make an appearance. Hopefully she doesn't knock down any cameras or <laughs> microphones. But if she does, you get to see a... Uh, special appearance from Tiffany the cat and uh, so we've got Carrie Underwood um, mm -hmm. making her appearance on the channel for us and uh, we've never had her on the channel thus far but I've heard a few songs of hers I actually um, saw her in concert one time I was gonna say you saw her live right yeah I, it was amazing it was incredible she was out, she's outstanding unbelievable yeah. I don't really like I wasn't a huge fan and I don't I think somebody gave me the tickets mm -hmm. and I was like well I've heard she's amazing so I'm gonna go Michael see her yeah. um, but I don't really know her ca catalog all that well and I've definitely never heard this song from her what about you what's your experience with, with um, I know a, a fair amount of her music but I would say it's more professional music I've never heard this um, and I don't think I've really heard anything from this album. I believe this was her gospel album, um, and I didn't. I've never heard anything from that. But I've heard more for like country stuff. Um, that's like her own music. Yeah. So I think "How Great Thou Art" is like an old song, right? And I think Elvis might have a version of this oh, as well. Cool. So, like you were saying, this isn't her original song, mm -hmm. um, but I do believe that she performed this first live and then put it on an album or something like that because okay. this is a gospel song right and i think she ended up releasing a gospel album yes and this was on the album but i think this song was done first live if we're correct yes. you can let us know if we're not you can also let us know yeah i believe this is a christian hymn correct i believe so yeah. so um we've got vince gill as well uh, i don't know who that is so never been introduced to Vince Gill. I think he's pretty popular in the country music scene. Okay. You guys have mentioned, I think, his name a few times in those comments. Mm. But I don't know anything about Vince Gill. I don't know what he's going to be doing on this song. Um, we're going to find out. Yeah, and uh, we're going to see where it goes. But uh, excited to check out Carrie Underwood because it's been a while since I've heard her. But she's always amazing. It seems like whenever I do see her perform or hear her voice, just a... An amazing voice oh, yeah. and I do feel like she's one of those really fantastic live performers where her voice does not trail off in fact maybe it even gets better when she's live even stronger yeah. live yeah that's incredible all right well you are ready to check it in yeah let's do it let's do it Thy hands are made. 
feeling it? Wild. She's so good. Like, such a powerful, strong voice. Yeah, it's But pow- still so feminine. It's, it's powerful. It's strong. It's beautiful. It's, um, you know, uh, you know, we've talked about Tom Jones kind of being that oddity of a strong, masculine voice. Mm-hmm. That's what I always feel like when I hear from Carrie Underwood. It's just, it's always so powerful, strong, and beautiful at the same time, mm-hmm. which is very rare. Like, sometimes you can find female singers that can hit these, you know, peaks and valleys in their vocals with extreme ranges and you know their pitch is control is great but she just comes across as so powerful on every note yeah right it doesn't matter which pitch she's going into it's always fantastic yeah in terms of the power that she brings with her vocal but it still sounds beautiful like i said um very cool though not to overlook Vin skill with the guitar mm-hmm. in this um gospel song yeah how often do you hear an electric guitar and a gospel song? <laughs> I know. So that's really, really unique and um, great setting, great environment. Um, you know, and obviously the lyrics are you know profound in themselves in terms of you know if you if you subscribe to any kind of belief like that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's a powerful message and a powerful song, and then having that combined with her powerful vocal. It's just a beautiful composition all coming together for an outstanding performance and um, the piano obviously setting the stage in a great way as well. Yeah, that sounds like I love the piano there. And I feel like, you know, obviously naturally she always has a very strong vocal performance, but I feel like you can really see it like in her, like her stage performance and her facial expressions. Like she's really passionate with her delivery. Oh yeah. I feel like too. Yeah. Um, Which I really like seeing from her. Like I haven't really seen her live. Um, you know, virtually live or in person. So, um, or at least not that I really paid attention to. Mm-hmm. So I don't really know if that's just her kind of standard. Yeah. Um, but I feel like maybe because it is more of a, um, you know, uh, religious based song or something that she feels passionate about that delivery is there even more so than normal. Yeah. I think from what I've seen from Carrie Underwood, obviously I don't know her personally, but, uh, from what I've seen of her and heard of her in terms of her quotes or whatever, when she's discussed things, she's always been pretty humble of a person and, you know, put faith as a priority for herself. Yeah. Obviously, if she has a gospel album, yeah, then exactly. that's, you know, going to be the case as well. But um, I think that goes along the lines of the passion that she brings. I think, you know, obviously she's, as you alluded to, um, she's got a deep, meaningful um, aspect to this song in particular, if, if faith is uh, meaningful for her. But I think she does that with all her songs because I think she has a strong passion for music and, in, you know, in general, always wants to put on a great performance for everybody that's there, for the fans. Yeah. Um, and, you she know, really she really believes in what she does. Yeah, I think she, you know, she she's, doesn't take her talent for granted, yeah. which a lot of artists can do. Yeah. But with her, it seems like every single time she steps out there, she's she trying to, you know, <laughs> blow your mind. And she yeah. does most of the time, right? Yeah. <laughs>
That was insane, especially uh, yeah. that ending. I got goosebumps on that. There's people in the audience that were like tearing up, they're patting their eyes. Yeah, rightly so. I mean, we talked about, you know, in that brief stop that, I don't know how brief it was, but <laughs> we stopped it there and spoke a little bit. We talked about how she brings the passion mm -hmm. and that's exactly what she led up to. It's funny too, I've mentioned about her being humble and the next lyrics in the song were being humble. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got and, that. Uh, and, you know, like you said, people were tearing up, but bringing that passion is going to do that. But that was just outstanding vocal. Like, that last note even, she held it, just perfect pitch for that long. With the microphone way out of the ear. Yeah, I mean, it's just incredible what she's capable of doing. Oh, yeah, she's And, insane. you know, even, you know, you were saying that people were, you know, the camera was showing people, but you could tell they were just in awe, mm -hmm. you know, just watching yeah. her perform this. And, and they're all stars in their own right and all singers, and they're all looking at her like, I wish I could do that. <laughs> you know, like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. No, no, but I know, like, like, just in awe. You like, know, the raw talent um, you could be the most talented person in the world right but if you're not putting the passion into the song that you're performing the delivery is probably gonna be very different yeah. right uh, I'm not really familiar with how this song is you know s has sounded in the past with other artists that have done it yeah uh, but I really really liked her version of it and I think that you know she if she's able to take something that you know usually would be very spe a specific audience that would probably you know you would perform that to you and mm -hmm. perform it at a, a public event and yeah. everybody is into it and they're just like you said sitting there in awe mm -hmm. again i think that's just a testimony to her talent and her performing abilities as yeah well. and obviously vin skill added some nice backup oh, yes. vocals in there the harmonizing between them yeah. two the two of them was really cool and then obviously the guitar as well um so overall fantastic performance like i said i think elvis uh, does a version of this song as well. I haven't heard it before, so if you guys think maybe that's a good a good track for us to react to, just hit those comments and let us know. Also, any other Carrie Underwood songs um, that you think we might enjoy? I think one other comment uh, that I noted was Two Black Cadillacs might be another one. Uh, but anyways, let us know in those comments what you guys think, what you, what you enjoyed about this one, if you enjoyed our reaction, Hit that like button, leave us a comment, and let us know. And if you haven't subscribed, get on it, hit that button, and come along for this journey that we're on. All right, that's it from us today. We'll be back soon. See you guys in the next one.